Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. You're not meant to say it. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Charlie. And I'm Will. And today is travel, travel day. day. If you've watched our videos before, you'll know that this is our favorite Day. We are both so excited because today, as you may know from watching our previous vlog, we are going to Disney World in Florida. So we are about to put the bags in the car and get on our way to the airport. So come along. See you later, Phil. Thank you. We have arrived at London Heathrow Airport. We are flying today with Virgin to Orlando and we are flying upper class. We're at the Virgin upper class wing. We've not never been here before. Never been here before. So I have flown with Virgin before. Um, this is your first time flying with Virgin. And last time I flew, Virgin's flights, well, to Orlando, were going out of Gatwick. So this is the first time from Heathrow. And yeah, as we all said, our first time at the upper class wing. So we had a private entrance into this lovely area where we're about to check in and go through security. So, come with, oh my God. Come with us. <laughs> yeah, come with us. We just checked our bags in with Amy and Anita. Hi, Amy and Anita, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we all wanted to have a quick vape before we went through the fast track security. So they just directed us out a little side door, which has taken us back to here which is Terminal the three. Terminal 3 check-in area. Just to clarify, Virgin have had the upper class wing at Heathrow for around 10 years, but the Orlando flight used to go out of Gatwick, but it now goes out of Heathrow. So that is why we've not been from here before. It's my favorite day. <laughs> <laughs> We just got shouted at by a airport security guy. Excuse me, excuse me. Why, can I ask why you're filming? And I was like, oh, it's just for YouTube. He's like, you can't film here, you can't film here. I was like, it's okay, okay, sorry, sorry. But we are through security now. We are allowed to film here, apparently. And um, we are looking for Joe Malone. Guys, you know that when we go on holiday, we love a Joe Malone. And we are looking for Le Labo. Oh, Lela, Lelabo. Lelabo. Do we know how we pronounce that? No. <laughs> Lela, Lelabo. We have had success in Joe Malone. We asked the lady in there and she said that the Lelabo is currently in Terminal 5, which is where I've seen it before but it's not at Terminal 3 yet, but it will be soon. So, yeah, which is where we are. So I have gone for my second choice, which was Joe Malone, Ode and Bergamont. So we're now gonna find the lounge. So literally just past World Duty Free and Joe Malone. We've just taken, it is, isn't it? We've just taken a left and we're heading to the clubhouse. So. Which is Lounge H. doused myself in Oden Bergamot so now I smell because I don't normally put um, any fragrance on the day of travel day so then you can dose yourself up at the end. Oh my god. How about up at the wall? Boy, what? I can see all of the planes. The menu here is all on this QR code, which you can scan using your phone to browse the menu for the large and the small plates. And also there's a kids menu on there. The drinks are all on there too. However, the staff are coming around asking what you'd like. So we've just ordered these two glasses of champagne and we're gonna have a little browse of the menu and see what we fancy. However, someone is distracted. Oh so guys, look at that view. <laughs> view. It's for you. Oh look, the dreamline is going. There's more over there, isn't there? Oh wow. Yeah, it's mental. It's an over 80 over there, BA. Can you see it? Oh. 
Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Next to the boat, yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad that you I bet you, this. I bet you can't see it. You're just saying you are. So guys, the food has arrived. I went for the Caesar salad. Will has got some cauliflower. Um, yeah, barbecue cauliflower, a bayo bun, and the chicken burger. Yeah, that's great. I've ordered a Di Serrano sour. It wasn't actually on the menu. It was a bamboo rum sour. So I asked them to do it with Di Serrano instead, and they did that for me. I haven't tasted it yet, but Charlie said it's amazing. I'm really Boy, really how is your Caesar salad? It's great. Oopsie daisy. I asked for no anchovies because I'm not too keen on anchovies, though I know it is often in the sauce. Because um, our lady needs to get her name. Kyra. I just watched, I just looked at her bag. <laughs> Kyra told us that if you ask for no anchovies, you won't get the actual pieces of anchovies. Um, but it is still in the sauce. But they didn't give me the sauce, which is good, I guess, because I've asked for no anchovies. But I just had to ask Kyra, could I still have the sauce? Because I can get over that, but I just don't want. She's incredible, by the way. Bits of anchovies. Yeah, this, honestly, the staff are just so sharp. Don't, would you say sharp? Is yeah, to describe yeah them? they're on it. They're on, they're they're on it. Right. Highly, highly, highly recommend the barbecue cauliflower. We are on our second portion because that is just to die for. It's elite. Elite cauliflower. <laughs> I'm just taking a quick walk over to the salad bar just to see what's on offer. So there's some fruit, some cheeses. Cold bits through there as well. Um, oh, Will absolutely loves tsunami and things like that. Very nice. Over here, there's a selection of the daily papers and some magazines as well. And there's just so many like lounge areas all dotted around. There's the pelotons over there looking out. Onto the planes. And there's lots more seating, there's a bar here. I absolutely love this lounge. So cosy, such good service, I've really enjoyed the food. Couldn't recommend it enough. So, it's beautiful in here, but we've sat in the same spot for about an hour. So we're gonna have a little stroll around and we're gonna try and find the observation bit. Which we think up these He's stairs. Up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, garden. They're calling it the garden. Why do we call it observation deck? Have we just made that up? Oh, right. <laughs> oh, wow. This is cool. Look at all that. What a view. What's the registration of our plane? V-Lib. Oh no, it's not either of them two then, is it? Sorting the air do out. Yeah. Yeah, happy with that. Did you enjoy the garden? Yeah, it was a bit cold though. You get a great view of um, both the runways of, if I'm to be specific, 09 left and right. No, 09, 09 left and 09 right, yeah. Well, if anyone cares about that, please let us know in the comments. Guys, we have found a cosy corner. Look at the depth of that sofa. What do you think? That's the one. A quick update, a nice lady came round and offered us these blankets. <laughs> so we've just been sort of vibing. No, I think it's because <laughs> she could tell we was cold because I was so snuggled up to Charlie because we're sitting right underneath the air con. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> but, we have our gate number now, don't our we? Our gate's been announced, so let's just go to it. So we're gonna make our way over though. What if we end up getting sat there and we can't get on the plane? And then we yeah, haven't we got this. sat there for long. I just wanna get on the plane now. Yeah, we'll get Sans in his pants. So we make us get here four We've hours been here an hour longer than um I've eaten so much, I've drunk so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do feel wavy, but I feel that level of wavy where it's like, oh I want a nap now. Do you know what I mean? A little cozy nap, but then you'll miss takeoff. Right, so yeah, me and my brother look down. <laughs> Goodness sake. <laughs> Makes no sense either. It's making Catherine Tate references if anyone watches it. <laughs> right, let's make our way to the gate. So gate 40 is a bit of a walk away, but it's okay. We found 
a travelator, which I think that's what they're called. They're called travelators. Just a heads up to anyone who has chilled at the um, Virgin Clubhouse and their gate is gate 40. It is quite a long walk. Boy, how long did that take? Probably like an hour. No, it did not. Ten minutes. No, ten minutes. But guys, that is long. Thank God for the travelator. Oh, we're calling it a travelator. I don't know where it is. So guys, we are in the sky. There's been a slight malfunction with my screen. The screen actually goes in and completely hides away, which looks really like nice and simple and smart. But my one wouldn't come out. I meant to just push on it and then it comes out. I couldn't do it. Um, Brooke, lady looking after us, she couldn't do it. So another another um, guy came along and helped us out using a knife. <laughs> so it's out. And um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what's on the entertainment system today. Will's just having a little conversation as he does, making friends with people. Oh, we're on to the kids bit now. The Swan Princess, I think I might watch that. Oh, it's, oh hang on, these look more modernised. Um, yeah, boy? Boy, you called me. Oh. The flight manager man, boy, comes out over to me. Oh, why do you want to say hello to Gary? Gary, he's very nice. Is he the person that fixed my screen? Oh, oh I'll catch him in a minute. <laughs> We're always so sociable. We're so good like that. I want to dance with somebody that went to Houston film. That's another one. So there, the um, yeah, that is the selection guys today. I'm in TV. Oh, these are episodes, like series. Is there any series that I want to watch? Let's have a look. Oh, just for housewives, we'll all like that. Hmm. Oh, this is new. I keep seeing this advertised. My Amazon Prime or Netflix or something like that. There's probably more films that I'm interested in, to be honest. Titanic 25 years later. If Will's not already seen that, he'll love to watch that. And those are the episodes. We are around an hour and a half into the flight and they are bringing round the starters. We were asked fairly early on in the flight if we wanted, like what we would like from the starters and the mains menu. However, we had pre-ordered our mains beforehand with an email that was sent to us and we had a bigger selection from that. And what we've chosen isn't actually on the smaller menu today. So that's a result. And um, I'm gonna show you guys what I've got. My starter's just come over, but Will is sleeping. So I don't know if he's gonna miss the food or not, but I, I think I'm gonna wake him up. So I've gone for the hams starter, which I can see, I think it's got some melon and some feta. Possibly a few little raisins on there. Bread and butter, signature Virgin Atlantic salt and pepper shakers, which I absolutely love. Pinch from Virgin Atlantic, love that. Still watching Whitney, really enjoying it. Where is he? Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> so guys, we've been in the air for around five hours now, and I'm only just bringing you a seat tour because when I got when I sat down, I got myself really comfy. I had a sleep. I've eaten so much. I've drunk so much. Honestly. I just thought I could sleep again but I have to stay awake because of the time difference and I have to, is the word acclimate? No, that's to do with temperature. Or does it make sense if you say acclimate to the time? Who knows? We are flying on the A350-1000 today. Registration G-V-L-I-B. 
the airplane is one year old, so it looks all shiny and new on the outside, which is nice. I have been given the window seat by Charlie because he's not too fast and I love to look outside and I love to see the wing. I don't need to remind you all how much I absolutely love blades. This is also my first time flying with Virgin, so I get to experience the whole product um, for the first time with you guys. So I'm going to be brutally honest and I'm going to show you what they have to offer. So as soon as we boarded, I noticed straight away that their complimentary you know, like vanity bag or flight bag was recyclable. I think that's great because the amount airlines get through, I think it's astonishing they haven't come up with this already. So let's take a look inside. So in our vanity bag today, as you'd expect, the usual, we have flight socks, an eye mask, we have lots of choices. These um, products are from Wren. We have a hand cream, a lip balm, that is just another cream. I'm not sure what that's used for. And we've got toothpaste. We have a bamboo toothbrush, again recyclable, well done Virgin. Earplugs and a recyclable pen. They are smashing this sustainability. My first impression, again being honest, is that I was surprised that the aircraft is worn as much as it is for a one year old plane. Um, I noticed over on Charlie's door as well, there's marks. So in front of me here, I have the tray table. Also got your bottle of water that is provided for you when you arrive on the plane. Next to that, you have your TV, which you push in and click and it comes out. But it's a little bit tricky, so I've kept it out a little bit so I can put it. <laughs> As always, when you fly a business or upper um, on any airline, the leg room is so nice. This chair lays um, into a full flat bed using the controls along the side here. Although I do feel like they're badly positioned because I keep leaning on them and the chair keeps moving. It's almost like they're on one of your armrests. And I don't feel like they all work. So if I click the mood lighting, Right, it works that one. Oh, now it's not working again. These are meant to come on as well, but they don't. Oh, I've got that one working. I also feel like logistically, there are plugs in places where you can't see them. So you'll see um, the headphone jack and the USB port underneath there. Didn't know they were there. And hidden underneath this arm is where the plugs are. You also have a reading light, which is a really nice touch. I love that it's gold. Their new product also has a sliding door. I don't think it goes any further than that. I think it's just for a little bit more privacy. There is also a little storage area here for um, magazines, papers and stuff. But I, and I've got this in here at the moment, the vanity bag. But I have to say there's not much storage at all. I thought this would come open and I don't think it does. If it actually does and I'm being a moron, please let me know in the comments. Um, I thought this might come open, but it doesn't. Um, it's just like a, I guess you can put your foot there, I'm not quite sure. I thought there might be something behind there, but there's not. Now, it sounds like I'm being really um, negative nearly about this flight, but I'm absolutely not. The service at Virgin <clears throat> is so spot on constantly making sure you're okay, introducing themselves by name, bringing you food and drink all the time. You're never without anything. And in comparison to our British Airways flights to the Maldives, um, this comes out on top by far. However, if I'm going to compare them, considering the age of both the aircrafts, I believe the British Airways aircraft was older, but the new business class product, products have just been installed. I feel like this is um, more tired, which is really surprising, but honestly guys, the comfort of having your own little like, suite that lies flat, I've had the nicest sleep, I've had the nicest food, the experience is so worth it. I just wanted to show you guys the choices on the menu. So I had a Serrano ham for my starter. Will decided to skip starters. And there was the carrot option, and then on the mains there was a chicken, a roast trout and the spinach and ricotta tortellini. 
um, though our dish that we had, which was the chicken curry, wasn't on here, it was actually pre-ordered, which was lovely, a little bit spicy, but really lovely quality. And then we both had the billionaire's dessert. Then over on this page, there are the small bites, which are served after the three course lunch, up until 40 minutes before we land. There's a cream tea, a Beyond Burger, a Bayo Bun, which is what I've just had, and a spiced lamb flatbread. There's then a list of champagne, white, red, and rosé. And last but not least, there's beers, spirits and liqueurs, feel good drinks, cocktails down here, soft drinks, and hot drinks. Also, you can do this. So, hang on, tail view, forward view, that's what the captain's looking at, that's up the screen, and then this is the camera that's just on the top of the um, tail, tail no. looking at, yes. So what's great is when we come into land if you live, you can watch, watch, it. watch it come in, it's great. So that's not on, the, that's not on those it screens is. now? Yes. Oh it is? So you know the main menu that you come along, yeah. swipe to the right and it says tail count I think. Oh okay. Yeah, well I've said so before we land. Oh fantastic, okay, thank, thank you, you so much. I can't believe that's real. That's good, so, isn't it? Yeah, this is so yeah. cool. Will is currently editing this video that you are now watching. We thought we'd come and sit here for a little bit just for a change of scenery and also we could show you the upper class cabin. So there are 16 seats on this particular aircraft. Um, Will and I are in these two seats here at the front. Will's in the window, I'm in the centre. There's four rows and then there's four aisles. Is that, does that make sense? What is there? Four there's, rows, two aisles. There's four rows, two aisles. So guys, the area we're sitting in at the moment is called the booth. Now on Virgin's A350s, they also have the loft. That is a configuration when there is more upper class seats. You can see that on this aircraft, there is only 16 of them. Probably because on this route, um, there's not many upper class passengers. I don't know. Also on Virgin's Dreamliners, which is a Boeing 787, they don't have a loft or a booth, they have the bar. And there you have it. Mr. Facts over it. <laughs> it's just a nice place to get away from your seat and have a drink and have a little chat with whoever you're with rather than shouting across the seats. Did so. you notice there was a man sitting here for yeah. hours? Was he? Yeah, he's been reading the book. Oh, that's nice. I know, it's, it's so nice. So nice. And they put the little, um, little snack baskets out, which I believe I believe they're called the Wonder Wall. The Wonder Wall? Yeah, like, oh, you're my wonder. What? But that wonder, as in that wandering. Wandering. What? That's what they call their sack basket? Yeah, the Wonder Wall. Is that called the Wonder Wall? Yes, it is. See? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> look at all of these charging points. We do actually have them in our seats as well. There's USB and there is also like a UK plug. Yeah. And then there's a little plug for you to plug your headphones into. What I think is so fantastic about an upper class ticket is that it's like an all-inclusive day. So from the second you arrive at that airport, all of your food and all of your drink it's is complimentary. Cool. And that includes cocktails, champagne, starters, mains, desserts, snacks, fruit, everything, doesn't it? And then just think, you're there for three hours, we were there for four. <laughs> And then you're on this plane for nine hours. You don't pay for anything. You don't pay for anything. So, you know, value for money for sure. Here, imagination becomes reality in our theme parks and attractions. Guys, we are here in Orlando and I am just, <laughs> I'm just blown away at like hearing all the American accents, like car, the cars don't have number plates on the front and they all seem to be very, very clean, I don't know what that's about. I just feel like I'm in another world and the cars are big, I just love it. We've chosen to get an Uber to um, our hotel. I just realised we won't be able to see the number plate, will we? Because we'll have to look at the back of the car. Oh my god. Oh look, this one's ready. 
Goblin Angel. You in? Yeah, your bag is so heavy. So what is it? There's 17 floors. Well, the 17th is the restaurant, right? We're here, baby. <laughs> I've dropped my bits. This is it, guy. We're checking in. Oh my god. What's going on? Hang right on, weird case. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you got you, it? You went round here. <laughs> oh, you can't do that big hits. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So we are all settled in our room now. We've had a long flight, a lovely flight. What was the drive, half an hour? Yeah, about a half hour drive, but it's just hit me <clears throat> like a ton of yeah. bricks. What's well, the time here? Uh, oh, I don't actually know. What's the time at home? Five hours ahead, 12, one, two, three, four. Four a.m. four o'clock in the morning. So in our next video, which is tomorrow, um, make sure you stay tuned for that. We're heading to Magic Kingdom and we will of course give you a room tour of our beautiful Park View room at the Four Seasons Orlando. It is absolutely beautiful in here. I know you've had a sneak peek so far, but we will, sh we will show you all properly tomorrow when we've been rejuvenated of energy. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope that you enjoyed it. We had the best time filming it for you all. Please like it if you did enjoy it. And subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of our stuff that's coming. Stay Guys, tuned. it's so good to be back. It's so good to be back. We love filming travel series. Obviously, this one is going to be jam-packed with all different things. Please don't forget to stay tuned. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.